In this video, I want to talk about Azure IaaS Virtual Machine Snapshot Usage. Now, if I look at a regular virtual machine in Azure, there is no checkpoint or snapshot feature. In a Hyper-V world, we're familiar with this capability that will basically save a point in time view of the virtual machine. If it's running, it would save the memory state, the device state, it will save the state of the disk. This doesn't exist in Azure. If I want to create a point in time view of a virtual machine, there is a capture VM option that I don't see in an arm from the portal, but there is PowerShell. This will basically export out the configuration and the storage to another set of files. I could then create other VMs from that's really designed more to create templates for subsequent VM creation. I could integrate with Azure backup to actually call VSS inside the virtual machine through the VM agent create an application consistent copy of the storage and I could then restore that backup. But there's no just native checkpoint. Now behind the scenes, the way Azure actually is working, it's creating these VHDs and it's using Azure storage, specifically a page blob for each of the VHDs. Here I'm using the free Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer tool. And if I go and look in my storage account, my blob containers, there's a VHDs container. Inside that, I can actually see the VHD files. I can see it's a page blob. I can see its size. Now, blobs actually do have a snapshot feature. This enables me to create a snapshot of the blob, and I can then copy that blob off to create a new blob. In the case of VHD, I could create a new VHD, or I can essentially perform that copy back onto the original blob. So I could copy the snapshot back to the original blob, thereby reverting the VHD back to its original state. Now I can only copy a blob into a blob that is not currently attached to a virtual machine. Otherwise the VM has a lease on the blob and it would block any attempt to copy into it. So while a VHD is attached to a VM, I cannot revert a snapshot. Now for a data disk, I can detach the data disk, then copy the snapshot content into the original blob and then reattach it all without shutting down the VM because I can do hot add remove. If it was the OS disk, I would actually have to essentially delete the virtual machine. Then I would revert the snapshot content into the original blob and then recreate the VM. So there's a bit more to it. Now to kind of show this, what I'm actually going to do is for a data disk. I'm going to do all of this through PowerShell. So I have a dummy VM. If I look at the settings, what I can see is I have disks and I added a data VHD that's a terabyte in size. And what I'm going to do is through PowerShell, apply snapshots. So now initially inside this dummy VM, I can see there's that data disk. I've mounted it, but I've not actually created any partitions. So I'm going to create a volume. We'll just call it data. A quick format, remember, because Azure uses sparse storage. So I only actually pay for data written. So even though it's a terabyte in size, I'm not going to pay for a terabyte unless I did a full format, which would actually go ahead and write zeros to everything, which would be a very bad thing. So I always do a quick format in Azure. So it's formatting that, it's going to then make it available to me as a volume in Explorer. So I'll let that complete. And we will just see that pop up once that format is finished. So that's done. And it's empty right now. And that's fine. So what I want to do is I'm going to create a snapshot of this empty disk. So I'm going to use PowerShell for this. And there's a number of different parts to this PowerShell. I'm creating some variables. So I'm creating a variable, which is my storage account name. I have a variable, which is my resource group name. So I'm defining both of those. And then what I'm going to do once I've got that is I just create another variable that links to the storage account itself that uses the storage account name and the resource group name. I'm going to fetch the storage account key. This key enables me to actually go ahead and connect to the content of the storage account with full control. So I'm going to fetch the storage keys 
And then I'm gonna create a context, a connection to that storage account using the first, the primary key. So this gives me those connections. If I run all of that, I'll actually there have that connection. I've run that already. I then define a variable for the VHD's container name. And then the name of my data disk, dummy vm data onevhd a short name that doesn't have the VHD extension, and the name of my virtual machine, just dummy VM. Once I have that, I'm gonna actually go and fetch the blob for that VHD file. So I'm getting the content of my storage account. So I'm getting the object for the storage account. I'm passing that to get all the containers in my storage account. I then say only where the name of the container is the container variable, which is VHDs. So only the container, these my VHDs will be passed through. Then I get all the blobs in that VHD container. And then finally, I only get the blob that matches the name of my VHD. And it's not a snapshot. So it's not equal to true. So this gives me the blob for my data VHD. So I'll run that. And if I look at it, there's my data VHD file. Once I have that, I can now call the create snapshot from the iCloud blob of the blob I fetched that data disk. So this is using the blob capabilities. This is not VHD, it's nothing special. This is just part of the blob. So I'm gonna go ahead and execute this to create a new snapshot and that's done. I can now view all of the snapshots. So I'm looking again but all the blobs in that container where it is a snapshot and it doesn't have a null type, right? it's a valid snapshot. So if I look at that right now, I have one snapshot. So that's at the empty disk. So now what I wanna do is, well, how do I prove this is actually doing anything? So what I'm gonna quickly do is within the virtual machine, go into my data drive. I'm gonna paste a folder which has got some pictures of my kids and them doing stuff, just to put some data in there. So this is gonna put some stuff on the disk, so we'll be able to see, well actually the disk is changing its content. So I'm just gonna let that go through and copy all this various stuff. So that finished, and there's all those various files in there. Great, so now I have data on my E drive. So now I've done that, what I wanna do is I'm gonna create another snapshot. So this now has some data on it. If I look at all my snapshots again, I'll now see two. My original empty disk snapshot, and then my have some data snapshot. And what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna create an array of all of those snapshots. So I have two in there. The oldest one is first. So if I look at zero, that's my original snapshot. If I look at one, that's the latest snapshot. Now if I wanna apply the snapshot, I wanna go back to the blank disk, the first snapshot. I cannot do it while the disk is connected to the VM because it has a lease, it will block me. So what I'm gonna do is actually get an object to the virtual machine. And I'm gonna remove the data disk from that VM and then apply that removal. Now I could do this through the portal as well. Again, if I look at the portal, I can see I've got my dummy data VM, but I'm just gonna do it all through PowerShell. So I'm gonna execute these two commands. So that from a configuration, remove the data disk from its config and now it's applying that update. So what I would actually see in the portal, oh, it's already happened. So data disk will disappear. So it's essentially detached it from the VM and now I've, I've lost it. It's actually gone here as well. So now I've done that, I'm gonna use a server-side asynchronous copy. What I'm copying is the first snapshot, the empty one, the blob, and I'm copying it, so I have context. It's the same storage account, so I can use the same context. It's the same container, and I'm copying it into the name of my original VHD. 
so that VHD name. So I'll trigger that command. And I want to look at the status of that copy, and it's super fast. If I look at the status, it's completed already. So now I'm going to attach the disk back. So I'm using the add Azure OM VM data disk, same way I used remove Azure OM data disk. I have to set the caching. It's an attaching an existing disk. I still have to set the data size, and I'm getting the URI via the VM blob object. So I'm going to go ahead and add that back in. So there's the metadata, and now go ahead and actually apply it. So this will now add the data disk back in. And again, I could have done this through the portal as well. I could have just done attach existing. And what I'll see is as it's running that PowerShell, this will just pop up back in. But it should have averted it back to that zero, the empty disk. So there it is. It's popped back in. If we go and look inside the VM, there it is. If I look at it, it's empty. So I lost my, I applied the snapshot of my data disk. Now, any good magician will tell you, uh, I can make the rabbit disappear. Can I make it reappear? So I'm going to jump back to my PowerShell again. Again, I have to remove the data disk first. Again, I can't apply a snapshot to a data disk that's attached because of the lease. So I'm going to remove it. We'll see it disappear from the portal as it has. I'll see it disappear from the VM as it has. And because I was actually selected the E drive, it lost my Explorer session. But now it's gone. Now I've done that. I will actually now apply the latest snapshot. So the way I'm doing that is I'm looking at the length of the array. In this case, it's two minus one because it starts at zero. So this will apply the latest snapshot I have, which was the one with the data. Check the status, it's finished. I'm now just gonna go ahead and add the disk back in. So I've attached it again. It's waiting for that to process. I'll again see it pop up here through the portal as well. And it should just reappear inside the VM. And hopefully, if I've done the snapshot incorrectly, I'll have my data back, all those pictures. So I'm using the blob capability of snapshots. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Now, again, this is great for data disks. I can just detach and reattach them while it's running. If this was the OS disk, yes, I can take the snapshot while it's running. It would be crash consistent. To apply it, though, I'd have to break the lease. I cannot break the OS disk lease. Even trying to force a lease break on the iCloud blob in PowerShell will not work with ARM. I have to delete the VM. I could save its config out. Then restore the snapshot to the blob. And then, yes, I would go and recreate the VM using that disk again. But just super quickly, this was how I use snapshots for IaaS virtual machines. Please follow me on Twitter on NTFactGuy. And I post updates on my SavileTech.com site. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.